With Windows 10 due to be released in 2015, Microsoft is following through with their plans to put Windows 7 and Windows 8 out to pasture. I'll tell you more about what's in store and how it affects developers today on Dev. Welcome to Dev, the show for new web, mobile, and game developers. I'm Allison Downs, bringing you the latest in web development news. If you're developing a Windows application, which version of Windows should you target? Well, if you're looking for the version with the most market share right now, then you would target Windows 7. But if you're looking toward the future, you may want to consider a universal Windows app. As of October 31st, Microsoft stopped shipping retail editions of Windows 7 and Windows 8, as well as the OEM versions of Windows 7. This means that anyone who wants to buy Windows 7 or 8 has to get a copy that's sitting on store shelves right now. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. Windows 7 currently dominates the desktop OS market share with 53%. Windows 8.1 is sitting at just under 11%, but has seen a steady increase in market penetration this year, gaining over 4% just last month. Windows 8 only accounts for 5.88% of the market. It's likely that the many Windows XP holdouts, still at 17%, will move to Windows 8.1, but it's harder to anticipate what Windows 7 users will do. With Windows 10 on the horizon, they may just wait until the new OS is widely available. If you're a developer, this means that a universal Windows application is the way to go. Microsoft is pushing universal Windows apps that work on Windows 8.1, Windows Phone 8.1, and Windows 10. If Windows 7 users migrate to 10 in 2015, that will result in a huge customer base for the Universal Windows app. For Dev, I'm Allison Downs. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at LTP Allison for all your web development news. See you next time.